Hi and welcome to episode 4 of How to Write a Song. My name is Roger and in the first episodes we wrote a song. A song you decided what it should be about and that was a mini disc. Today we're going to do a demo and a sort of pre-production of that song. Before we get started, I want to tell you that I put a lot of time and effort in making a songwriting guide for you. You can find it on my webpage. It's 15 pages of useful information if you want to write a song. This is yours for $1,000 or free if you sign up with the email address. I need the money, so please buy it. So let's try and create a demo, a simple demo. I have made a songwriting template where I already have a bunch of instruments already set up. I have a few options of drums, bass, guitars, piano rolls, and so on, just so to get me started. I don't have to search for instruments. So if I press the piano, I can play it instantly with the piano sound. Uh, let's find a tempo first. So we're going to go and see what kind of tempo we have. The chorus goes, wah, da 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 Somewhere above a hundred, maybe hundred and four. Let's try that. Too slow. Let's try one hundred and eight. We can go with one hundred and eight now. We can always change that later. So I will record a scratch piano. I will start. I will start at bar seven because maybe I want an intro. So let's. Try and record a piano. And so on. Probably we will fast forward a lot in this video because I don't want to bore you with everything I do. I will tell you what I will do, but you don't have to sit and wait while I do it. So I will continue with the piano now. Now we have a piano, let's do some drums. And I have my own drums, you can find them on my webpage here. And I will only make a simple drum loop. And a bass. We have a simple drum loop, a bass and a piano, and the chorus sounds like this. And so on. What I will do now is I will record the melody with some kind of synthesizer sound. So let's find a sound we can record the melody. It doesn't have to be the right sound or a good sound even. So I will go for the Logic ES2. I like that synthesizer. So let's find a lead, maybe a fusion style. What is that? Yeah, that, that can do, that could do. So I will play the melody with that sound. We have drums, bass, piano, and a lead synth melody. And the chorus sounds totally boring, but that's intentional. I will tell you why in a little bit. It sounds like this. So why didn't I sing the melody? Why, why did I play it with the synthesizer? Well, that be that's because I don't know what kind of tempo this should be exactly yet. And it's in the wrong key. So let's go to the piano and find the right key. This is not the best song I've written. Probably, I, I don't know, even know if it's a good song, but it fills it, its purpose for this video, how to make a song. Now you also have to excuse my voice. I have been performing as a piano entertainer for many hours last weekend. My voice is sore. It's really bad. But I know my range 
uh, my, my singing range, so I will try to look for those highest notes. In this case, mini disc, that's the highest notes of the song. And see how far I can push it. So in, in G major, it's like mini disc, mini disc. Let's go higher. I can do that. I can do one step further. I know, not today, but I know I can do a half step further. And now we're in D flat major. We started in G major. Now we're in D flat major. So the verse in D flat major goes. It works. And the chorus. <laughs> yeah, it works. By the way, I'm so used to transposing music and I do it theor theoretical. Uh, I know how to think for transposing music. You, you can learn that. You just have to practice a lot uh, to do it and to do it fluently, so to speak. If you don't know how to do it, just change the transposing in your door. From G major to D flat major is six steps up. So you can do that. Normally I would play the song in the new key because then the layering of the chords would, would be better than if I just transposed it in the door. But I can show you, just transpose the door. So the bass, six steps up, piano, and the synthesizer like that and see if we are in D flat major and we are we're good to go I will do an intro and an outro on this short song and I will use the melody I think from the chorus this thing but after that I will do the ending of the chorus this and stay there and that will be four bars so four bars intro let me record that and i will come back to you now i think we have a song the intro to the verse goes like this And the outro is the same. I just copied the intro as an outro. Let me show you a trick. If, you, if you're not sure what kind of structure you want to have uh, on your song, what, what kind of order you want. Do you want two verses before the chorus or just one? Uh, this is a trick. So I highlight the intro here. It's four bars. And then I color the regions in a color, this yellowish color. I have to cut the piano there and also the lead synth thing there uh, okay and then I color the verse in blue green ish color um, this should also be, be that and then the chorus may be some kind of purple and uh, the outro let's do that uh, yellowish thing again so now I know what parts are, what color each part is for the song. The chorus is purple, so I can order the regions the way I want it. So that's the way to do it. Now I have a demo, a very simple demo, but now I can save it. I can pick it up later. I will always remember what I've done. I will remember the song especially if i've written down the lyrics with some with some chords also then i will remember it and i can pick it up months from now if i want to work on it but let's work on a pre-production now the first thing i want to do on a pre-production is to program the drums because i want the groove to feel good for the song and i also try to vision in my head make a picture of how i want the song to sound like at the end so i know how to make the groove and what sounds to search for in this case i had a little bit of trouble finding the right groove for the drums so i got inspiration 
from my drum kit. The most obvious groove for the verse would probably be something like or maybe on the snare like but I wanted something more interesting, something more groovy. So I figured out that if I do the ghost notes and the hi-hat with 16 notes, so it goes like this. And then I use the fourth beat of the bar with a hit on the snare. And then it sounds like this. That's much more groovy. And also in the chorus, I tried to make a ride. But it just became washy, so I figured out that if I do the bell on quarter notes with the same groove, it, it's much harder, much more hard-hitting groove, like this. That is much cooler for this song. I have made a bit of a pre-production here. Let me show you what I've done. I have programmed some drums. So now they sound like this. Like that, I also played a new bass. I have some synthesized electric guitars, which sounds horrible, but I want them there so I can be able to record drums and bass and things with the dynamics of the song. So I have something to play on. A B3, a verse pad that is like this. Like that. I also have a brass thing on the chorus. And this is a bit interesting, actually. The brass sounds like this now. And 1986 called and want their synthesizers back. Maybe I changed the sound, but it's a cool thing. And if we listen to the brass and the bass together, you can hear that when the bass goes up, the brass goes down and vice versa. So they go towards each other and go separate ways like this. This is a cool sound. Probably it's going to stay until the song is finished because I worked a little bit with it. This is Logic's Mellotron, m Tron pad thing. Uh, three violins and a male choir blended a little bit more towards the violins. It sounds like this. Not that interesting. And then I have an EQ, a filter and a chorus. Sounds like this now. Yep. And then I have a... Stereo imager from Isotope, an e EQ, and a big reverb from Logic's Chroma Verb. A compressor after the reverb and a distortion after the reverb and compressor. And now it sounds like this. I also recorded the scratch vocal. Now we have a pre-production on this song. A pre-production that is good enough so we can record the real recording. I'm going to record it with both real instruments and also electronic instruments like software synthesizers and such. After that, we're going to mix it. And after that, I'm going to do this song in different styles, different genres, if you like. So please subscribe and ring that bell also so you don't miss those videos. Let's listen to the pre-production. But before that, arrangement... You can call a pre-production a kind of arrangement. Arrangement in Swedish is arrangemang. Arrangemang. Until next time, Roger Das. On the streets, I walk to beat and sing along with my me.